Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and to answer a question and it answers also a question in general that I get quite regularly. People are always wondering about security and it has to do with Windows Defender or Windows Security and in the May 2020 update particularly but also in a more general sense for anybody that is on the May or November 2019 update. So the first question that somebody asked is, well, in the May 2020 update, is uh, Windows security better because I'm using a third-party antivirus, blah, blah, blah. You know what? You don't need third-party antiviruses. You never did. Um, Windows security is good enough. Every time I see somebody post, well, you know, according to this test and that thing, and it's like it's crappy, it's, no, it's fine. It doesn't matter whatever test is doing whatever or giving whatever result. Because, once again, security is what you do with your computer, not the antivirus that's on it. If you think your antivirus is there to protect you, you are one of those that will probably get a virus someday because you are not thinking of security ad, you know, correctly. Any uh, tech guy that is a good tech guy, I'm not talking about you know your best friend that uh, knows things about computers, they are often the worst. A real tech guy, a real good tech guy, will tell you one thing, very simple. What you do with your computer is the number one security problem. So if you are careful, if you don't click anything that looks weird, anything that you shouldn't click, if you just do your little thing on your computer, go on your regular websites, check your email, and not download everything you see or click or open everything you see, it's very simple. That with the security updates for Windows is a good enough protection. That's a real protection. So keep your system updated with the latest security patches. Every time somebody tells me, well, I haven't done security patches in three months, you don't know what you're doing and you will get viruses real easily. Actually, I suspect a lot of those that say that don't even, they actually update. They just try to, you know, tell you, well, you know, you don't need these things. Yeah, you do. 95% of everything that could infect or that could uh, mean you could get hacked somehow is fixed in the security updates. The other 5% is what you do. The things that you could click that you shouldn't. So, you know, any email that comes from uh, someone with an attachment, honestly, that's dangerous. You should, unless you really are sure that the attachment is what something important or something you need or something that was required, a document, whatever, don't open any attachments. And in Windows and in, on the internet in general, stay away from weird websites. Uh, people that get bitten, very simple. Three, like, you know, the categories of people that get uh, viruses in their computers in, um, in Windows and that is over 15 years of being a tech guy and it's still valid in 2020, it's still the same thing, is people that never updated their system and, of course, by chance went to a website or saw something that would had a malicious code in it, infected the machine, so they didn't update. The other category, people that go to these weird websites to get free movies and TV shows and download you know, free music and whatever, that's another category that gets often bitten by viruses and of course the downloading illegal malware uh, malware software you know um, that contains malware embedded and and what's the funniest part is a lot of people you know a lot of the guys that will tell you here oh well, that guy doesn't know what he's talking about I've been doing that all ever and I have no problems you know eight out of ten of these have a virus or a malware that's spying on them and they don't even know about it and of course, uh, anybody that clicks attachments uh, that um, they don't know where they come from, but they still click and open the attachment and uh, stuff like that in email. These are the categories that get bitten. Be careful what you do. That's the important thing. And to answer the question, it's simple. Yes, Windows security is enough. It's good enough. It protects you. It doesn't hog system resources like any third party uh, antivirus. And because it's integrated within Windows, doesn't cause any problems with updates with anything. A lot of Windows updates 
that go wrong are often due to third-party antiviruses that mess up Windows Update. So, you know what? You are okay with the Windows security, and it's the only thing you need. Because the big chunk of security, the real big security hazard is you. And it's 90% of the risk. And remember, antiviruses are not there to protect you. If you think they are, then you are wrong about security. Just remember that. Because pretty much every antivirus has tons of viruses or malware they don't even detect. And it's getting worse by the week and by the month. More and more viruses and malware are undetectable. Or when they are detected, it's already too late. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.